Shook it up. <laughs> What's you got going on? Quite an omelette because it's low carb day, and it is 10:30, and I need to leave in 15 minutes to get the train to Glasgow. Glasgow. Is that how you say it? Glasgow. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely not how you say it. So egg white omelette, Glasgow posing practice. Yes. Yes. Okay, okay. One day round trip. One day, two and a half hours on the train. I want to get to the train station early so I can get my Starbucks so I don't die of caffeine withdrawal. <laughs> and then two and a half hours where I'm going to edit my video. Got food all ready to go. And I'll be back at 9 pm. parked up and I'm just gonna go I need the loo because I'm after drinking a litre and a half of water and then I'm gonna get some coffee got about 10 minutes to spare until the train comes hopefully there isn't any diversions or anything because this is Britain and sometimes they just cancel trains and send you on a bus and I don't want to go on a bus to Glasgow because I only have four hours there I arrived Glasgow Central. I'm just gonna go and meet Margarita now. I got video edited on the train journey. I drank all my water, I drank all my coffee, I ate one of my chicken breasts, I ate a cinnamon bun that I made. The recipe should be up on my recipe channel now. Go check it out. But now it's time for bikinis and posing and Maybe, if I'm very lucky, a French bulldog. I'm here with Margarita. <laughs> There's no Frenchie, but we've got a Margarita and we've got a bikini. <gasps> it's so colourful. I love it. colour of greeny. Yeah, and I have like the one I've been practicing in is green, and everyone says that green really suits me. It's the Irish in me, you know. <laughs> it's so sparkly. I went for the unpadded because I've got the fake boobies. And then the bottoms, ooh. Yeah, I swear there's better days, y'all. 
So posing is complete and now, can't see my face, it's really sunny here. And now I'm gonna go and get a coffee and have a natter with Margarita. I'm gonna link all Margarita's details below for her bikinis and if you're interested in getting posing from her, just hit her up because she's amazing, she knows what she's at and she's really helped me today with some very, very simple tips. After a long day yesterday traveling to Glasgow to do my posing and getting my bikini from Margarita and we just, after we tried on the bikini, did some posing, we just went, got coffee and then I went and got the train back. It was literally a one day round trip on the train. I edited a video to put it up. I prepped food, brought it with me so I was able to eat that on the train and then when I got home I was just exhausted so I just had an early night and then I got up this morning and I dropped down to 109 pounds. Now I am just under two weeks out with one pound to go. I think I may, I may get slightly lower than my predicted stage weight. So today I'm just about to do some morning cardio. I'm gonna go and train arms and then Lex and I are going to see a house. The house hunt has been on since September. It was our anniversary when we found out we had to move out of this house. So just to update you guys, we're renting this house and we couldn't afford to buy it. It's too expensive. It has been sold. We have a new landlord, but the current landlord has said that we can stay for longer than we thought we could, which is great. It takes the pressure off of us moving, but at the same time, we still have to move. Now we've decided that we want to move to a new location. Right now we're quite far north. We're north of Manchester in the UK, and we want to move down further south, just so we're closer to where a lot of our friends live, so that we're more commutable to different areas. Originally, we were looking to rent again because as you guys may or may not know, we are self-employed. This is what we do and it's very hard for a self-employed person to get a mortgage, but we think we will be able to get a mortgage. So now we are looking to buy. That will be our first home together. We have only gone to see one other property and we really loved it, but it was a bit of a money pit. It was a bit of an investment and it had a lot of work needing doing to it. So today we're going to see a newer house that has pretty much zero work needing doing to it. And we could just walk in and move in if we liked it. But the only thing is it's a little bit above our budget and we'll have to see how we get on. I don't want to invest myself too much and I don't want to share too much about moving house because when I find something and then I really like it and invest myself in it, then I get disappointed. And I don't really like sharing my own disappointment constantly with you guys. So we've kind of kept the whole house move a little bit more private, but I just thought I'd share, update you guys more than anything else that we are going to see a new house today. It's down in Shropshire. So it's about an hour and a half drive away and we're gonna do that this afternoon. So fingers crossed guys, keep your house hunting fingers crossed that either this house works out or that me and Lex find our dream house soon because we don't want to find a house that we're gonna to have to move out of or grow out of in a couple of years. We are looking for our forever home. Fingers crossed guys. We're not in a hurry now, at least the pressure is off, but I would like to get moved and get settled into our own, very own house. Even though I love this house, number one, Cannot afford it for everyone saying, why don't you just buy it? We cannot afford this house. Number two, they're actually going to be knocking down the house. People who bought it. So, sad times. Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner. Talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, I'd buy them all to Paris. Ain't nobody paying, I'd be buying the drinks. And we would party, and we would dance, and we would go. Short to be an asshole